Welcome to On The Beat everyone, I'm Troy Thompson. I'm joined by Amanda Fondren from Omnis Health Clinic. Today we're talking all about strep throat and the issues that come along with that. Welcome to the show, my friend. Nice Thank to you. see you again. See you. Um, speak to everyone at home and explain to them what strep throat is. Well, strep throat is a bacterial infection of the mucosa of the throat. How does one get it? Because it's it, highly contagious. It's very contagious. They usually pick it up from somebody else that has it by drinking after them or eating after them or kissing them or just getting the bacteria in their mouth or nose from picking it up where it's been deposited by somebody sneezing or something. Oh my goodness. See, I thought it was just in kids it's that not. got it. And mm -hmm. I want to tell you a personal story on it. I got it. And mm. it was um, not last year, the year before. I thought I had COVID. Oh. And I was weak. I was not well at all. I ended up getting into what I thought was a COVID clinic, to, thinking that's what I had. And it was a severe um, strep throat. And all I thought about was I haven't been around children mm -hmm. because I thought it was from kids. It was very severe. Is it something, I ended up in hospital, to be honest with oh. you. You know I told yeah. you that off camera. Yeah. And I want to understand, is it just antibiotics that is going to fix it? Is there anything that we can do not to get it again? Yes, there is. Stop you kissing people. <laughs> 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 well, you definitely don't want to eat or drink after anyone. That, you don't want to eat or drink after anybody yeah. anyway. Yeah. Um, but you change your toothbrush, you sanitize and Ooh. heat sanitize or sterilize cups that you drink out of frequently or um, and you want to change your toothbrush a couple days into the antibiotics and at the end of the antibiotics again those things can help not reintroduce strep back into your okay. system. Explain to everyone at home, you know I always like to ask this question, what are some of the symptoms, that you did tell us some, but those feelings, okay. so is it runny noses, is it coughing, is it a swollen throat, can't breathe properly? Well, first, a sore throat is usually one of the hallmark symptoms, yeah. but not always. Sometimes a rash can be a, the only symptom that someone oh, has. Oh, really? I've seen that in patients where the only symptom they have of strep is a rash. Um, that you can develop all the symptoms of an upper respiratory infection, runny nose, cough, things like that. And it's a highly contagious. Very. Is it something that we would get back once we've had it? You can get it Do you know it what again. I'm saying? Like yes. they say with shingles, as an example, it's in your bloodstream and you will get it back after you've already been treated the first time. It's not like shingles. Yeah. It's not a virus. So it doesn't right. stay in your system. Oh, interesting. Once it's killed from your system with the antibiotics, you can contract it again by getting that bacteria back in your system. I really like the fact that you just told us, which I wasn't told by the doctors, everyone, and I ended up in hospital for four days. And... I ended up having blood transfusions. It was that bad. Oh, wow. And I was not told to change my toothbrush or um, squirt things around home, you know, those yeah. sprays. I did, was not told any of that. So it's super important to make sure you sterilise everything at home. It is. Coming in contact for people with kids and they're going to preschool and kindergarten yeah. where all the kids are touching each other and having fun mm -hmm. um, making sure they're and you know washing their hands and things like that when they come back from school right right there's not a prescript it's mainly prescriptions that fix this yes. there's not natural remedies and it's very important to fix it because it can get worse like it was oh, for you I didn't know what and I was so scared I bet. I'll be honest with you I collapsed because it created internal bleeding when I had the issues afterwards it was the most frightening thing i've ever had we mm -hmm. appreciate you thank you if you want to find out more information there it all is up on the screen everyone strep throat something we don't talk about very often been chatting away with amanda from omnis health clinic back after this short break